Good morning, Uchi Creek. This is Mrs. Jurgen with a few words of wisdom. Ralph Edison was an American novelist, African-American novelist. Listen to what he says to us today. America is woven of many strands. Our fate is to become one and yet many. In other words, America is made up of many different kinds of people, like the many different colored strands of thread in a plaid shirt or a beautiful piece of floral fabric. And even though we are all so different, our goal is to be one great nation. We are one and yet many here at school too. We have one student body, yet we have many different kinds of students. Today, look around you and notice all different types of people woven into the fabric of our school campus. Focus on what we have in common as Americans while honoring what's different. It's a beautiful thing too. With something to think about, this is Mrs. Jurgen. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Good morning. Happy Monday. And today is the official Read Across America Day. Um, this is a national day when we recognize Dr. Seuss, who would have been 116 years old today. So if he would be 116 in the year 2020, on March the 2nd, what year was he born? There, there you go. Little trivia for you to figure out. Um, so today is a special day, because, not only because it's Dr. Seuss Day, but today we're going to come around and let everyone cast a vote for the books from Dun Dun Dun, The List. And so here's a couple of them. These will be on the list. I know you like these. This one is We Don't Eat Our Classmates and Don't Forget Dexter. Um, and so we'll, um, Rebecca and I, Miss Rebecca and I will come around and um, we have them on a cart and um, it's electronic and you can just come out and hit cast your vote and we'll get those all counted up and we'll announce the winner tomorrow. But that's our big activity for the day. If your class is already scheduled to come to the library, you'll do it when you come to the library and we'll get that turned in and um, cast our votes for that state winner. That's so exciting. And then um, after the votes are all in, these will be available for checkout. Teachers, also for Read Across America or any other day, um, I now have two teeny little tiny Bluetooth speakers and they're charged up and so if you need to borrow them to use that Novel Effect app that I keep sharing with everybody, then um, you're welcome to come borrow it. Just you know, return it when you're done. Um, so, um, and also I have a copy of Happy Birthday to You by Dr. Seuss, so you might want to read that one today. That one, unfortunately, is not in novel effect, though. But uh, Green Eggs and Ham and The Cat in the Hat and Yertle the Turtle, believe it or not, um, is also uh, in novel effect. So there's quite a few that are. I um, want to say thank you for everybody that came to the book fair. We had a great fair. We made um, over 7000 We sold over $7,000 worth of books. And then we'll be getting a little bit of that coming to the library so that we can buy some books. And stay tuned, we'll be asking you what kinds of things you'd like to see us put in the library. And that'll be coming very soon. So it's time for a joke now. Where do sheep get their hair cut? At the local Baba shop. Get it? Have a great day. Stay on track. Woot, woot.